Shelley, sometimes it could take that long to negotiate with someone who is trying to take their own life, and police are saying they will take as long as it takes to get that person back to safety. Just after 11 a.m. Sunday, a man climbed this overpass fence and threatened to jump right into the rushing traffic below. The situation snarling traffic from Louisiana all the way to the Big Eye. Some people stuck in this for two hours. It was very yes. aggravating, especially since we didn't know what was going on. Police say the man wanted to end his life at one point, even threatening to slit his throat with a knife that he had. A friend called about that man who threatened to jump, and when police got there, they saw the man was getting dangerously close over the freeway lanes, so they knew they had to act fast. So police made the decision to close the I-40 eastbound lanes and diverted traffic here at the Carlisle Boulevard exit. Drobik says police had no choice but shut down all eastbound lanes, and the only way to clear the freeway was to make drivers take that exit. We didn't want him hurt himself. We also didn't want him jumping and hurting somebody else who was driving by. Police soon learned the man had mental health issues, possibly schizophrenic. Same people were chasing him, that they had a microphone in his neck, that his house is bugged. Very adamant that he was going to kill himself. Drobik says every negotiation takes baby steps, and when someone is willing to take their own life, the stakes are high. Any ground that we had gained speaking to him was just obliterated when people from the ground were, were telling him to jump, telling him to kill himself. That would set him off again. By 1 a.m. on Monday, police say the man was tired and the dropping temperatures convinced him not to jump. And back out live here, this is the overpass where that man was yesterday. You can see that patch where firefighters cut a hole to talk with the man, and it's the spot where they finally got him to crawl through back to safety. Now, normally this would have led to a misdemeanor trespassing charge, but because of his mental condition, he has not been charged. Live in Uptown, I'm Christine Pay, KOAT Action 7 News.